Hello. Uh, my name is Jayant and this is Kulan and we are going to be talking about and reading from this rather marvelous book called We the Children of India. This book is written by Leela Seth specially for children. Leela Seth was the first woman judge of the New Delhi High Court and the first woman chief justice of a state in India. Well in this book you know she's written a very interesting letter addressed to all of you and uh, Gulan may I request you to please read it. Of course. Dear children, I have written this book about the preamble to the constitution of India for you. It has been written with the help of my grandchildren Anamika who is 5 years old and Nandini who is 8 years old. We believe that being a good citizen is important. A citizen is a person who belongs to a country. This means that we should follow the goals of the constitution. These goals are contained in the first long sentence known as the preamble. To be good citizens, we feel we should understand the preamble so that its spirit becomes a part of us. Leela Seth, Republic Day, 2010. So, what is a constitution? I hear you ask. After we became independent from the British, some very wise women and men in our country wrote a national book called The Constitution of India. Basically, it contains all the ideas, rules, promises and duties that keep our country working. It is a wonderful document and something we should all aspire towards. Well, it starts with an introduction, uh, which we call the preamble, which everyone calls the preamble, actually, which is the soul of the constitution. Now, here is the preamble: We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, and political. liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution Now all those big words you just heard in in the preamble they may look a bit unfamiliar at first here they are but but once you know them they are very easy to understand for example we the people of india having solemnly resolved means that we have made up our minds we have decided sovereign means that we alone can decide what to do and no other country can tell us what to do and socialist Socialist means that the people of a country should produce and share the country's wealth bettering the life of its people. Secular means that the government should not prefer one religion to another. That is all religions and beliefs should be respected equally and we should be free to practice the religion or belief of our choice. It also means religion should not be taught as a subject Uh, in a government school and there should be no government religion democratic is the next word it means a government which is elected by the people for the good of the people a government without a king or a queen or a dictator and as soon as you turn 18 you too can join in electing a government of your choice by voting for one The next few words are justice, liberty, equality and fraternity. They sound very large but actually they are quite simple. Let's understand each word. Justice. Social justice means that people should be treated fairly and honestly in all matters. And economic justice means where you are given an equal opportunity to earn your living. And political justice where you can freely vote or be voted for liberty means 
the freedom to do various things, including to speak and write openly about what one thinks, to live where one wants, to be free to choose one's friends, to choose or practice one's religion or belief, to travel and to form groups so long as one doesn't harm other people by doing so. And equality. Where there's equality of status and opportunity, meaning that all citizens have to be treated in the same way, no matter what their religion, place of birth, race or caste may be, whether they are women or men, poor or rich, all of them must be given a chance to improve their lives. And now we come to fraternity, through which we assure the dignity of all the individuals and the unity and integrity of the nation. This means that all Indians should be encouraged to be like a family and take care of each other, brothers and sisters, despite their different languages, religions and cultures. This unity in diversity makes India strong. Well, now that we know what the preamble says and sort of kind of what it means, uh, here it is again in very simple words in which Leela Seth has replaced the word people with children. We the children of India, having taken a firm decision to make India an independent, democratic country that will provide a better life for all Indians that will not make any religion more important than any other and will respect all religions and beliefs and will make sure that all of us are treated fairly and honestly, are free to think and act and to practice a religion or belief of our choice, are equal and are given the same chances to make our lives better and will encourage among us love and respect for each other so that we stand united and care for our country. Now give ourselves this constitution. My. <laughs> it's a beautiful, inspiring document. But are we living by it? Well, you know, we should try living by it. Each of us must think and act in ways that make this beautiful Indian constitution a reality. Yes, we must all work and we must fight to defend it and fight to make India worthy of our constitution. Yeah, here's a, 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 a fun way to remember this beautiful uh, preamble also uh, written by Leela Seth. Uh, it goes something like this. Let's be equal, just and free, strong in our diversity, Free in thought and free in prayer, free to dream and free to dare, free to love and free to care. Let's be equal, just and free, strong in our diversity. <laughs> Let's be equal, free and just, unified in love and trust, strong to lend the weak a hand, strong to help and understand, strong to build a happier land. Let's be equal, free and just, unified in love and trust. You know, I, <laughs> it's one of the most moving ways the preamble has been explained and it always brings a kind of lump in my throat. <laughs> Absolutely. And children, if you would like to read this, go through it because if this book contains a lot more than we have talked to you about, please find this book and read it. Goodbye for now.